Hey guys, I'm Logan, this is Hydraneer, and we are back for another episode. So as we can see, I apparently left this running when we left out last time. So I think what we want to do today, relatively small goal. We've been setting kind of lofty goals for the episodes, we haven't really reached them. So I think, oh, what's happening? Oh, it, oh, there it goes, okay, we're good. So I think what we want to do today, so we've got this whole thing set up, and what is, what, what what's happening right here? I, what, what is, mm, I want to fix that, hang on. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Hmm. That's, uh, that's a bummer. Okay, uh, I guess that's just a physics or a display bug. I don't know what that is. That's very strange, but I can't get rid of it. But I can walk on it? Okay, what the heck. Uh... Okay, I can't get rid of it, but I can walk on it. I don't know. They just didn't update to the game, so I'm guessing that's what happened. So I think today what I want to do... Let's see, we have some money. So I think first, let's ride over to Ice Helm. We are going to buy the plans for the drill. Because yes, we do have to buy those plans we cannot just make new drills or buy them like we used to which I really prefer I liked just being able to save up the money and then go and buy the drills I'm not a fan of having to buy a plan and then transport materials all the way across the map to Ice Elm just to build quote unquote my own versions of them. I just, I don't care for it. I think it's, I don't want to say it's a cheap way to make it a little bit more difficult. Oh, are we stuck? Oh, no, we're not stuck. Okay. So, yes. We're going to come up here. We're not going to complain too much about it. And we are going to buy the plans. I think we have enough money to buy the plans. Uh, let's find out. So we need to, we're just going to back up right here. There's no real point in doing much else down here right now. We really can't. I'm just going to jump off the edge and not wait on the elevator. So right over there, the giant anvil. That's where we make all of our new items. But before we can do that, we have to purchase the plans. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like this change. It is a major downgrade in my opinion. I'm also not a fan of the new conveyor system where it just slaps down on top of um, pipes. Wow. All right, so these things here, these are the designs. So let's drop our money in. We have 3,500. So here we have a drill. Here's the cloudium drill, which we can't do yet boosters which don't really help us yet I mean I guess we could buy the forged intake booster that would give us more power uh, not super concerned about that just yet and then here is the harvester which we already have so let's see okay now that costs what I say 180 some bucks yeah 185 so we have that now I think though I don't really want to buy a scale just because there's one here I think that we can use for free. So what we've got to do is we've got to bring the amount of resources listed on the bottom of this thing, which we can see right there, over to the melting crucible up there, and then pull the lever here. And that makes us an item which we can send up top through that. So for this one we need 300 iron to make a single drill and then any of our leftovers are dropped in right there so I think what we want to do right now is we want to go back collect our money and I think just for today the simple ish goal will be to get enough iron to build out two additional drills get them up and functional and then we will 
see if we can make a little bit better money having three drills pumping out in theory should triple our throughput it will be a little bit less because we're going to lose a little bit of pressure from the water pipes but i don't know that it's going to be enough that it will really hurt us in the long run so yeah i think that's a good i think that's a good plan for today we'll try to get the two additional drills built set up and functional then next time we're going to focus on pipes and conveyor belts the setup we have now with the hand sorters work okay but as the name suggests they're meant to be done by hand they struggle with dumping resources into them automatically and even the devs have pretty much said it's meant to work that way because it's a hand sorter so we'll need to relatively quickly focus on <laughs> oh that was mean there he goes boop right into the water we will need to focus relatively quickly on getting rid of those and getting in the proper belt fed versions which will be good because that means we can just start dumping a ton of resources onto the belt and once we do that it's just a matter of getting it sent down the belt and into the sorter so first things first let's actually um let's let that run for just a second i want to see if they have a scale right over here so fun fact if you don't have a scale you can just use one that exists in a shop or at least you used to be able to so there's not one here so that's a bummer hmm that is a bummer, although we might be able to smelt it, take it up to the stock market, and I don't know if that would work. Would that work? Honestly, I don't know at this point. So right now, let's turn this off. We're going to grab our bucket. We're going to dump all that down in there. We're going to put the bucket back where it goes, which I think is about right there, maybe. Um, put this over here. I'm gonna let that smelt. Let's see, are you in the right place? Oh my. So, see, this is exactly why hand sorters kind of suck. Alright, so there we go. So, do these down here. Yep, they have stuff stuck in them as well. Okay, and we're good there. Sweet. All right, so this should be smelting. There we go. That's a nice little size bar. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, dump that in. Let's run back up to Ice Helm. I want to see real fast how much that weighs. All right, so we're down here. Here is a scale. So we can actually just kind of use it. Perfect. So look at that. So this thing is worth 700 coins, but it only weighs 65 pounds. We need 300 just to be able to make one additional drill. So that is going to take some time because we left this running. It kind of did its thing. What sucks, though, is because of the way it works, we can't just leave that running. It's eventually just going to run out of... I'm gonna drop that right there. It's gonna run out of health. That means we're gonna have to repair it. Which means we can't just walk away and leave it alone and let it do its own thing and just kind of run. We have to be there to actually watch it and make sure that it's not broken. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back over there. We're gonna get a couple of wrenches because each one will repair it completely. And then we will, I guess, just kind of have to wait. Because if that's our goal, we just kind of need to let it do its thing. And build us up some iron. I mean, we could supplement it by hand panning. I really don't want to, and I don't think it's going to be worth it. I just do not see a need or a benefit to hand mining. It's going to give us a few ounces for a lot of work. It's just not worth it. So, let's go ahead and get back over here. 
and we will check the store. We'll get us a bag of wrenches, which I think we can afford. We might go ahead and let's see it's already broken. So we might go ahead and polish up some of these gems and the gold, sell that just so we can have some money and something to do while that is mining for iron. Now obviously iron is the biggest thing, it comes out the most. Why am I going to the wrong spot? So I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. I don't think it'll take too long is I guess what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, so let's head on over here. Let's get this repaired. We'll fix this and this while we're at it. And I'm going to drop the baskets there. Let's go ahead and get us to sleep. It's starting to get a little dark. This game is not fun to mine through the night. Even when the sun comes up, it's dark. All right, I have done some mining. I have done some cleaning, some jewelry crafting. We have made a golden ring, which is freaking gigantic. We've cleaned up all these jewels, and they are worth a whopping 2,030 bucks. So we're going to grab our monies and head right back down there to... Dude, you're in my way. To our little base of operations. We should have some decent iron built up by now. At least I hope. Alright, combining all of our monies, we have $5,000. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We are a long way off from our goal of one million, but we are making steady progress, quite steady progress, and I'm, I'm happy for it. You know, we, uh, we're actually doing quite a bit to progress toward that goal. I mean, just look where we started, digging out of a little hole right here, dumping it in there, and now we have this whole setup, mining, and doing everything auto magically. So. Oh, we've got quite a bit more gold in there. No more gems for a while, but it's okay. So let's grab our iron, smelt it, and go see how much closer we are. I'm hoping that we're getting closer. Uh, you know, we don't really know. I mean, obviously we're getting closer, but I want to at least get one of those built out so we can see how it looks and start worrying about getting the uh psh, 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 pipes in place for the water all right so that's smelted so let's pour it and dump it in the truck and we'll grab us a sleep and then i will meet you guys back up there and we'll weigh both of these bars all right so we're at 120 with those two bars it's worth about 1400 gold if we were to sell them which we're not going to we need them but we are still quite a ways off. We're not even halfway to where we need to be. So it's a bit of a letdown, but we have a few other things we can work on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start on getting the pipes in place. We'll get those laid out and ready. So once those are fully built and functional and we have the iron for them, we'll be able to just drop them in place, turn them on, and they will start running. Alright guys, I am back. I have gotten the pipework ready for the additional two drills. So you can see they'll go right there and right there. They'll dump right in. So this one just kind of comes right off of where we had a straight pipe here. We turned it into a T. Two curves. Boom. This one I took a straight, turned it into a T. Straight, curve, straight, straight, curve. So they will all just kind of loop over right here. We'll have all three dumping in. We will be close to tripling our output. So another thing that I've done is I went ahead and smelted down some gold. It is nice and hot. We're going to make it ring. Boop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. My gold. Okay, there it is. And boom. Ring. Put a little emerald in it. Let's go see how much it sells for. All right, we're back up here. Let's take a look see what this is worth. $1,200 not bad at all guys so we are definitely making progress on how quickly we can make cash now we just need to be able to turn that cash into more cash but to do that we need more mining we can't get more mining up and going 
until we get more drills. And that's a problem. That's my biggest issue with the early stages of Hydroneer. We're really just limited by our very small output. Because all we have is just what's going into this bucket. And at the end of the day, that's not a lot. So we just kind of have to sit and do other things while we wait for that to accumulate. Once it accumulates, we can buy a second one. It accumulates faster. We can buy a third one. It accumulates. It accumulates to the point that you can buy pretty much whatever you want, make whatever you want, whenever you want it. But right now, we're just kind of stuck. But I guess it's that way for a lot of survival games. So... Not necessarily survival, but yeah, survival, crafting, anything like this. That's always going to be a similar issue. So let's go ahead and clear out what's backed up here. Oh, that's annoying. So I really don't get the point of these if you're not meant to use them for automated sorting. They call it a hand sorter, but like... I mean, I... I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to buy four of these and continue to hand pan... When at about the same time, I can buy this and have this thing just going and doing its thing. I don't really get that progression that they're going for there. But whatever, not my problem. So let's go ahead and drop this down. That water line is in the way. It'll be alright though. Let's dump this in really fast. Nope, that fell of course. Boop. And boop. I missed. Okay. And boop. There we go. Let's go ahead and drop you right about there. That should be good. All right, so let's melt this and then go see how much we've got. All right, guys, we're back down here. We are only at 172 and a half pounds. We still have a good ways to go. It feels like we're not making a whole lot of progress toward that goal. Uh, we will get there, though. I know initially I said I wanted to get two today, but considering how slow it's going, I've already been at this for almost an hour. That's obviously not what you guys are going to see. But I've been at this for almost an hour, and it feels like we're making hardly any progress. We'll see. Maybe we'll come back, and we will have... Ah, uh, there with the elevator. And we just gotta wait. We'll see if we can get two in today. At least one, maybe two. I don't know. I don't know that I want to sit here and spend all this time on it. We'll find out. I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Alright, guys. We have finally done it. We are at exactly 300 point three three pounds of iron you can see it took one two three four five six bars to get there so it took me a little bit of back and forth but we finally got there so we get to build a second drill so let's go ahead and get that sucker in place and see if we can start making more now the big thing of course is going to be in theory it should take half as long to get the same amount of resources if we're doubling production in theory I don't know if it's actually gonna work that way right now the biggest thing of course is having to run back and forth from down here with one block of iron and back and back and back because we cannot carry multiple things at once but it's okay we'll get it we'll get that made we'll see if we can start drastically boosting our output I don't know if we're going to end up getting to all three of them today simply because of how long this did end up taking. And with us not having a scale at the base, I just have to run back and forth. That just takes time. Time I get back, then something's broken, we gotta repair it. It's just a pain. I don't really know that it will be worth it. So let's see, because I'd say. I mean, this recording's already been going for well over an hour. I think it's closing in on two. So it's taking a long time. Of course, I'll have to trim all that down and get it to a usable length. But it took a long time just to collect the 300 that we need for one. Now again, like I said, in theory, this will be cut in about half. But even so, that's still a long time to be waiting and everything else is set up and ready. It's just a matter of being able to get the third drill built. And there we go. So that's all of them. We should have enough. So in case you were wondering how I knew how all this worked, they they actually provide a nice little instruction manual. 
put the thing on the pedestal, put your blocks oh, in, pull the lever, oh, and it makes your item. So we come back up here, there's the little pedestal, we put our demo unit on it, and we make shaboom, a shiny new drill. So now that we've got that, we can drop it there, it goes poof, and it goes up and out. So now we had a little bit of leftover iron, it gets deposited right here. It's only about a third of a pound, so it's nothing to worry about. We're just going to leave it be. So we're going to run back up to the top, we're going to collect our drill, and I will meet you guys back over at the dig site. Alright, I am back with the new drill. This one is broken. Of course, we are definitely going to need to start working on some logic to keep these guys up and running. There's nothing I hate worse than constantly having to fix them. So let's go ahead. We're going to dump this guy right here. And... He is turned on, so the next thing we need to do, let's get some sleep so we can get some daylight. Because as you could tell, his light did not come on because there's no dirt. So with this one, you only had to build up dirt underneath this. So we're going to have to do the same thing here. So let's grab our shovel. And we're just going to start putting some dirt right underneath the drill. Once we get enough, there's... Oh, his, nope, nope. His light did... Yeah, it did come on. There it goes. Boom, boom. So now we've got two of these guys running. Boom. Just like that. And so now, in theory, we have just doubled our output. Boom. There we go, guys. So that's all there was to it. It just took a long time to get that second drill up and going simply because we had to wait for the resources but now each time that the first one would pump we are now getting two pieces out so in theory assuming all of it was iron we would be getting twice as much iron just straight through all the time That's, there it goes so guys it's working this has been a long episode Longer than I anticipated, simply because it's taken a long time to get the iron that we needed to get this up and going. So I think we're going to call it here. I know we didn't get where we wanted again. I thought two of them was a decent goal. It was overstretched again. But guys, we're getting there. We're making progress. It feels like we're not, but we are. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I am Logan. This is Hydraneer. If you enjoy this, like it, let me know. Leave a thumbs up, a comment anything just to let me know that you enjoyed it if you don't want to that's fine too just seeing that you guys watched it means a lot so like i said i'm logan this is hydraneer and i will catch you guys next time